Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back at the Dubai Airport Terminal 3 for an upcoming business trip. This means we have a small chance to find some good watches. Right now checking in my bag, taking the remover trunk with me as I have some heavy safety equipment inside and the form of this suitcase fits great for bulky stuff. It is already early afternoon so I guess not the best time to find some nice watches as it is pretty busy already at the airport. Maybe with the current market condition we are a bit more lucky but we will see. And here's the Rolex store. Empty displays as expected, so let's have a look at Tudor. Two Black Bay Silver and a big range of Royals. In the Rolex displays we have a lady stage just on presidential bracelet with diamonds bezel, indices and chocolate dial for 155,390 dirham or 42,000 US dollars. And the date just 36 two tone also with diamonds bezel and diamonds indices on oyster bracelet. And the best watch I could find here is this chocolate dial Yardmaster 37mm. The chocolate dial is usually not so easy to find, so not too bad I would say. For a girl definitely a nice and sporty watch. The price for this piece is 14,400 US dollars. So much for the Rolex booth, let's have a quick look at the Omega display. All kinds of different Seamasters here and actually for the first time I see the green Seamaster in display. A fully black one and of course more black, blue and grey dial Seamasters. Let's have a look at the green one. In the light conditions over here it looks nearly black. Not sure if it would be the one for me. I think for now I'm more happy with the blue one. Fits better to the theme of diving, pops more and is the more timeless version in my opinion. The price for the Seamaster over here is already discounted compared to the stores in Dubai. You can grab it for 19,000 dirham or 5,200 US dollars. A James Bond Seamaster and some more special versions. I asked the store employee for the Snoopy or 3 to 1. He told me those watches would never come to the airport store and are only allocated from the head office in Dubai. So that means you have to make a bundle deal with them to get one of those hot pieces. At the airport unfortunately there is no chance for them. And with that we have it. This was my small watch safari in September at the Dubai airport. Time for departure, so enjoy the takeoff and see you in the next one. Bye bye.